500 status, at some point in time, your business is going to deal with all 15 of these bullet points. How do you manage over the next five, last five or 10 years without expert advice in these areas? I'm not trying to put you on the spot. We said it's a generalization. You know what they're going to say? I'm going to tell you something right now. I don't care how big the company is. Everyone else can use expert advice in one of these areas eventually. Nobody has all of them covered. Okay? Then there's some other questions about, you know, have they been sued? Do they have any coverage? And then my personal favorite, we'll go over this in a second, is some of the detailed questions. So the small business challenge sheet, then after you go through this sheet, which I'm going to show you in a second, then you read this. The small biz uh, legal share fact sheet. But here's the key. Don't show it to them. Do not let them see this. So how you get around that is you pick the, the folder up and you say, listen, um, what you qualify for is our small biz 50 plan. Now, I'm not trying to keep it from you, but I'm just going to read it to you and then I'll show you. No, they say, okay. And then you read off what's in the column. Hey, yeah, you qualify for our small biz 50 plan. In this plan, you're going to get, and then you read off the credentials. Okay? And then, and again, Ms. Gray taught me this. The power of the go small bids. See, she went and she go have our different strengths. I'm not even going to think that I'm good at everything. I'm good at some things, but I got to get better at some things. She went and did her research on go small bids. I understand this now. This is really what this plan is all about. But people think because it's $14.95, they don't push it. Business owners need this more than anything. Go small bids, you explain it to him. One of the things I highlight, we'll go over in a second, is Fran interpreted who he is and what this was designed for, okay? Then I'll go into the family plan and I'll pull out the placement. I'll show them the placement, all right? At that point, I'm typically done, all right? Now, to close this out, one of the things I say is we have a way to help you save on your investment. And then I pull out the member pro sheet. And I show them Legal Shield has designed a way for you to save more than your investment. What we found is that the average person saves about two to two fifty a month using just a few of these member perks. And you get discounts over 400 companies. And then here is where I always leverage, and I keep this on me. How many of you have ever thought to add a trial defense to a family plan? Guys, you're leaving about 30 to $70 on the table by not talking about the trial defense. I'm just going to put a family plan. If a business owner has any other business outside the one you're talking about that may not have any employees, that's $19.95 is added. Why is that big? That's half of your commission for the family plan. If you're an associate, that's 60 bucks. If you're an executive, that's 140. Now, if you don't get it, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come behind and listen. I know Mr. Roberts is just in here, and he probably didn't cover the whole presentation in its entirety. So he probably missed this, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over this 1995 that you asked me your plan. And I'm gonna get that money, right? Now I'm picking with that's my brother there, but guys, people are leaving so much money to take. Okay, that's the last sheet. And then the only thing else that I bring to the presentation is validation. They love seeing this magazine. Because if you're talking to a business owner that has a pretty big company, to show them that we're being featured in Succession Home magazine adds so much validity to the woman. Successful home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what I just started doing that I'm finding is increasing retention dramatically and people actually using the service. I show them a copy of the world questionnaire. And I actually get it to them. Because before they were handing over a check, and that was it. When we're exchanging let's see one person another. If you go to the store, the clothing store, and you hand that guy a $500 payment, you're expecting to get something back in your hands, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to have that same perception in small business. So even though they don't understand we've just given them $50,000 in value. They don't understand that yet. 
You'd be surprised. The bigger the company, they may have a little bit of intuition about it, but 90% of them still don't understand what you went over. It makes sense that they understand the legalities of it. But you can actually put some tangible in their hands when you talk to them about estate planning. You know what they're thinking? Wow, my wife and I, or my husband and I, or my kids, we can go get our will done, our living will, and our power of attorney done now. Now they got some, now they, they just they exchanged with you, they bartered. Now they feel even better about their investment. Every appointment I go to, I have these documents. And I carry them in a simple black folder. All right? So I'm actually done. Mr. Mack asked me to go over an example of a presentation. I'm going to close with that. That's OK with everybody, OK? So you might want to probably just pull your cell phones out and uh, record this. It's going to be kind of hard to uh, take notes. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because I want to get to the main event here. Uh, my, my, my sponsor and mentor here, Mr. Kevin Mack here. So let's go ahead and uh, go through this really quickly so you guys can get an idea of what I may say in a presentation. One second here. Get this in order. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to do, does anybody do small business currently at all? At all? All right, uh, okay, now I know you and I pretty much do daycares. Um, can you give another industry you may do? Uh, barbershop. Well, okay, and what about you? What, what industry do you do? Real estate. Perfect, okay. So, so I'm trying to think because, do you do any real estate? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do a presentation while I was talking to someone in real estate. 